Hey, what's going on everyone? Cameron with Texas Trail Cameras and today I'm gonna go over my 2020 Whitetail gear haul. You've seen Chad's gear, you've seen Jake's here, and uh, now I'm gonna show you what I'm using this year. So we'll start off with my bow. I am shooting the Matthews Triax. I'm a sucker for the 28 inch axle to axle bows and they're compact. I do a lot of hunting off the ground or in blinds or in tree stands. So I like to have a shorter axle to axle bow. I'm a short guy, I got a short draw, so the string pitch is not a real big deal for me. That's my bow, Matthews Triax. This year I am shooting a little bit heavier arrow setup. I went with the Sirius Apollo arrows this year. They weigh about 560 grains with a lighted knock. On the air, on the end of the arrow, I have a Flictor K2 fixed broadhead, same as Chad, but these are 125 grains, so I went a little heavier. Previous years, I was shooting a sub 400 grain arrow, all equipped, so that scares me, and I wanted to go with something a little bit heavier. I drank the Ranch Ferry Kool-Aid, and now I am shooting an adult arrow, so. So that is my bow setup. Now we'll get into a little bit more of uh, the gear that I'm using to hunt with. So this is the Cruiser XC saddle. And you'll see it is equipped with two dump pouches. In this dump pouch, I keep my lineman's belt. I keep it attached at all times. It always stays clipped here, the other end hands free, uh, throw it around the tree, your hands free when you're setting up your sticks. That's very important to me because of the way that I'm hanging my sticks. I definitely need both hands, so the lineman's belt is a must. Uh, like I said, I have these s beaner clips. I'll get a close-up of those so you can see those, but these are how I am attaching my sticks to me as I'm climbing up the tree so I don't have to uh, ascend and descend and come get my sticks make a bunch of noise and take a bunch of time getting set up. So those are super helpful. I'll show you how that attaches in a little bit when I talk about my sticks. Um, over here I have another dump pouch and inside of it I have a retractable gear hoist. So this is the Doyle's retractable gear hoist. So it's pretty quiet. I like how this connects. It's no clips. It's quiet. Pull that through and there's your loop and you're, you're good to pull your gear up the tree so last year I was just using paracord and even with Chad's figure eight method it would always get tangled up for me if I would bring it up the tree it was fine but when I get up there I'm not winding it back up so this is much easier for me and it just stays in this dump pouch I never have to mess with it as far as my saddle this is the cruiser XC saddle it has um, a little bit more material compared to like the tethered phantom or the tethered manis that Chad's running. And I personally like this a lot better. It has an extendable pleat. It cups my butt a lot better than the phantom and it doesn't really ride up. So much more comfortable in my, in my opinion. Um, I've sat in it a couple times this year and I absolutely love it. It has a um, am steel bridge and it's adjustable. So all the adjustments I need, all the material I need, super lightweight, super mobile. So this fits my style really, really well. Along with my saddle, I have the Sitka tool belt. And this is a very pivotal piece of my gear. I am carrying everything that I could possibly need in the woods with me in just this pack. And yes, that includes my camera, my camera arm, my sticks go on the bottom of this and I'll show you how that attaches when I talk about my sticks. But open this up, I got my rangefinder, bow hanger, the extinguisher game call, uh, Reese Johnson, that's for you. And then, and this, these little dump pouches are really nice. So I keep a water bottle in this side and then on this side it acts as the, the housing for my tether. So um, I'll talk about this real quick. The typical tether that comes with the saddles is like a 13 millimeter rope or 10 millimeter rope. It's, it's a lot thicker. This is Sterling Oplux and it just is so much lighter and packs down so much smaller that it just, it's huge benefit um, as far as safe uh, space saving. I have this equipped with the, with a Kong duck and an oval carabiner. So that's my tether. 
that stays in this pocket for my Sitka tool belt. So, like I said, this is carrying everything in that I need. These little pockets here, I keep my release. And I will now talk about my sticks, and then I'll show you how I'm attaching those to the bottom of this. So this year, I am running the Lone Wolf Custom Gear Double Steps, and I absolutely love these. These are my favorite stick right now that is available. So you can see how small those things pack down. Super lightweight. I think this weighs like maybe eight pounds altogether. I have them equipped with Amsteel Daisy Chains. They are stealth stripped. And on the every other step, I did some heat shrink tubing on the steps to kind of quiet these down because they do become a little loud when you get them. They're kind of like a tuning fork, but once you get them all silenced up, these are absolutely the most packable sticks on the market. So I absolutely love these things. The standoffs aren't perfect. It does get a little bit iffy when you're going up some different trees, but practice with them and you can get your setup very very nice so these are the lone wolf custom gear double steps and now i'll show you how i'm attaching those to the sitka tool belt and packing those in so on the bottom of this tool belt there's these straps the buckle straps and i just take these on the bottom here snap those in and i'm good to go so i take that So I have this now attached to the bottom of this tool belt. So when I'm walking in, I have my bow sling, I have my sticks attached to my tool belt, and I'm completely hands-free. <clears throat> so one downside to using those Lone Wolf Custom Gear doubles, I can't use a on-the-stick top platform. So I had to go with a saddle platform this year, and um, kind of by default, because Tether didn't have the predator in stock i went with the trophy line mission platform and i really like it it's uh it's big enough to where i can move around it's sturdy as a rock and it packs in pretty nice so i just have these xop backpack straps on here throw this on my back and it sits right on top of my tool belt again hands free i leave this on me at all times when i'm getting up the tree lineman's belt attached to the tree set this baby on, step onto it, tie my tether in, and I'm hunting. So really nice uh, saddle platforms, the Trophy Line Mission. So that's kind of my saddle setup. I'm running the Lone Wolf Custom Beard Double Steps, the Cruiser XC saddle with a Sterling Oplux tether, and that Sitka Tool Belt and the Trophy Line Mission platform. So now I will kind of talk about my garments. I have everything stored in this tote right here. As you see, Chad had his bed packed full. I keep everything that I have in here. Um, I like the minimalist style. I don't like taking things that I don't need. As far as my garments go, I love merino wool. I just, I don't think you can beat it. I will start with the pants. These are the First Light Obsidian Pants. These are merino wool pants. They're very quiet. Um, the durability is a question mark. I'm not entirely sure. A lot of people say they get chewed up pretty easily if you're going through some thick briars and stuff, but they have, uh, they've been very nice for me so far. They're quiet, warm, and I can, war I can wear them when it's a little warmer too because it's merino wool, so. Underneath those, I have the zip-off merino wool uh, base layers from First Light as well. Again, merino wool. And then for my base layer on the top, I have the uh, First Light Kiln quarter zip. This is again merino wool. Everything that I'm putting on my base layer and even my layer out of that is all merino wool. It doesn't hold any stench. It breathes very nice. It dries very quick. I just, for a hunting garment, I just don't think you can beat it. And then if it gets a little chillier, I'll throw, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of vests. They just don't constrict your arms. So I have this sawtooth vest from First Light. This is also a merino wool vest. So super nice vest, super nice piece. If it gets a little colder than that, I'm then switching over to my Sitka Stratus set. And I don't have that in my tote right now because it's early October and the weather is actually pretty warm. So uh, one more thing that I will wear is I, uh, I like to hunt a lot from the ground. Last year I killed both of my bucks on the ground in a ghillie suit. 
and this year I bought the North Mountain Gear Leafy and it's a mesh leafy jacket so it's pretty lightweight it breathes really well it doesn't it's not very hot like my ghillie suit so I will be using this when I'm on my ground setups a lot of times when I'm going into the woods I'll wear my saddle and have this on and if I can't find a tree to get in I'll throw this on and drop my sticks and everything and I'm hunting so that's another benefit to being mobile so that's basically it for my garments um, first light merino wool and when it gets a little bit warmer or when it gets a little bit colder and I need some warmer gear I am running the Sitka Stratus so a couple more things here I have my binos I keep them in an outdoor vision bino harness really nice bino harness zipper pocket here zipper pocket on the bottom which I keep my license in and then I have um, my milkweed is attached to my bino harness in this it's just a meat eater um, keychain and then I have inside here I'm running the Burris signature HD binos these are 10 by 42s great for the whitetail woods super clear and uh, they've been really great for me so far one more key item here in Ohio in early October I have the thermocell thermocell is a must-have when you're running around with Chad in the swamp so keep some mosquitoes off you and uh, let you sit there a little bit longer without wiping swatting mosquitoes away so that's it guys that's my 2020 whitetail gear setup if you have any specific questions on anything I'm doing drop them in the comments below appreciate uh, you guys watching and good luck this year